All right, here's a little tricky study. Our pawn is moving up here, so we are two steps away from promotion. And the mission is just to win as white, not in a specific amount of moves, just find the winning variation. Well, black has a rook, of course, and uh, if you manage to stop our pawn, we will not win. So, can you find out how white is winning this? Pause the video now, have a look, and when you return, I will show you how it goes. Go ahead. All right, welcome back. Well, we have to be aggressive. A passive move like bishop c8 is just not uh, quick enough. Uh, Black will not waste time with uh, rook g1. Instead, he will try to just stop our pawn. And Black's king will reach here uh, quicker than our king, even if doing checks like this and stopping uh, Black king, he will just uh, go up here. And sooner or later, even if we try to block him out, he will end up with his king here. And white cannot come anywhere. So white has to do something aggressive. And you see here, of course, if you move this knight, it's a discovered threat on the rook. And that's what we're going to use. So white is sacrificing his knight. That is the right move here. Knight f4 check. And also a threat on the, on the rook on f1. That gives black no option. He has to take the knight. So what was the purpose of uh, just sacrificing a knight here? Well, the purpose is that black's rook is not in a good place when it comes to f4. With white next move, he will totally dominate this. Can you see what he is playing? Bishop d7. It's uh, blocking the a4 square. So black cannot move his rook here. If he's trying to uh, maybe play his rook back to f1 and come to a1, well, it's losing directly because of this uh, check with the skewer on the rook. And if he tries to back to f3 and want to come to a3, well, then we can pin it like this and the rook will be lost and white is winning. And the last option for black in trying to stop this pawn is take bishop d7 and rook f6. Attacking the pawn and when we go to, uh, to a7, he wants to stop it like this. But that's not winning either. That's losing directly. You see how, of course. We have the fork here with our bishop and black is just losing so his last chance is just to try to attack our bishop with rook d4 but we will just leave it like that we push a pawn to a7 let him take our bishop then we promote to a queen and white is winning because a queen versus a rook is winning fairly easy. If you if you are having problems with uh, this kind of position, queen versus rook, then click on the video you see here because I made one and um, to show you exactly how you win with a queen versus a rook. So thank you for watching, everybody. Remember to click like on the video and of course become a subscriber if you're not already. Welcome back to my channel whenever you feel like getting some more puzzles and studies. Have a great day. Bye-bye.